And thank you for having us here. It's great to be here on KSRO. Um, Robin, we have a special guest today. Who is it? Well, she's been here before, but this is... Hi, this is Sophia Gurian. And (laughs) Sophia is our most awesomest. Is that a new word that you're just making up? Yes. <laughs> it's a medical term. She's actually, she's, she's fantabulous. There's oh, another one. Oh, I love okay. it. But, you know, Sophie has joined us. Actually, she's no stranger to KSRO. She mm-hmm. came and joined us right when she first started working with us. And we so were lucky great. to snatch oh. her away from Stanford Hospital and the plastic mm-hmm. surgery department there. And, and she has now come to join us. And so I asked Sophie to be here with us, Robin, today because we have something new to announce. You know what? You always have something up your sleeve. And you were teasing it a week or two ago. We were. Like, what is going on now that we don't know about? Okay, give it give it to us. What's the latest, latest ingredients? So we're, we're really excited. <laughs> and Sophie's leading the charge. Are you? And, and that's the beauty, yeah, uh, yeah. the beauty of youth and, and age. <laughs> and you mix them all together. And it's a great combination. Um, but we're really excited. We're bringing a new technology to town. And it's our the, the company of the name of the laser system is Cyton. But we're bringing in the new Cyton BBL and a laser micro peel and so we're really super excited about this okay. and I brought Sophie here because she's again leading the charge and has already treated many patients Have you? and been yeah, seeing really been nice great. results. What's yeah. it is it like something that we might know about already? Yeah it's actually the next generation of an IPL okay. or otherwise known as a photofacial. All right and so, what does that do again? Can, can I just get a little review? Yeah absolutely an IPL or a BBL which stands for broadband light. Thank you. It's best for patients with rosacea, any broken blood vessels, hyperpigmentation due to sun exposure. Um, it also helps give early nice glow or those looking for a kickstart in collagen production. Uh, all of that? Skin. All of it? Absolutely. Really? So, yeah, it's been really <laughs> exciting. <laughs> so um, the difference between the IPL and the BBL, what would that be? So it's newer technology. It's the next generation of the IPL. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I am able to titrate the settings in a oh, more safe oh. manner for the patient specific to their skin concerns. And Which wasn't their, available before. It wasn't as specific. It wasn't as specific or titratable. Oh. So now um, I can target the patient's skincare concerns and help them achieve their aesthetic goals in a more safe and productive manner. Well, definitely it's more efficient, Robin. And, and if I can just take us please, backwards, please, please. back when um, some 23 years ago when we opened up the Aesthetic Laser and Vein Center and Sophie was five years old. Um, <laughs> was oh I? my God. <laughs> Stop, Stop it. Stop you it. Were, oh, you're <laughs> killing me, Sophie. I followed you guys. Oh my so God. Yeah, so <laughs> okay. Oh my God. I, we're gonna, can we cancel the show? <laughs> but and by no, the way, you so, look great, all of you. So, <laughs> so we brought the Intense Pulse Light, which is IPL. I don't know if we had mentioned that. Intense Pulse Light is mm-hmm. IPL, and known as the Photofacial. And we brought that here in 1999, 2000, to, mm-hmm. with the Aesthetic Laser and Vein Center at the time, uh, now known as Dr. Tom Cosmetic Surgery. And what it was brought for was to treat a, a various array of skin concerns. And we went down and we trained with Dr. Patrick Bitter Sr. And I know Dr. Patrick Bitter Jr. as well. And they've kind of been the leaders in, in bringing in intense pulse light or photofacials is the, the term that they had coined. And that's what we use frequently in our practice uh, to treat hyperpigmentation, spider veins. What else do we treat with? Rosacea. Rosacea. Sun damaged skin, enlarged pores. Is that something too? It will help with enlarged pores as well. And it's been a great treatment. And you've heard me talk about it all the time, Robin. I said, you know, I would talk to the staff the morning meeting and, and even before we were lucky enough to have Sophie come and join us and I'd say, you know, you're all excited about this new laser or that new laser and all, but if we just did, all of us just did a photo facial one treatment once a month, our skin would look amazing. Our skin would look really great. It would be glowing, it would be vibrant, yeah. it would be more homogeneous in its mm. coloration. 
and that's what we brought from the past. Mm -hmm. But of course, we all like new toys new, and new, new things, mm -hmm. right? And Sophie's always kind of challenging us. She does it very quietly. I mean, she's very she's sneaky understated, that way. She's understated, powerful. Yeah, quiet. yeah she, she, she does <laughs> that very quietly. She kind of sneaks it in on me, um, you know, looking for new technology. And so um, the Cyton or the BBL, which mm -hmm. again stands for what, Sophie? Brazilian, but oh, I'm just no. kidding. The <laughs> other one. Sorry, guys. Broadband light. Oh my god. Right. Okay, yeah. Broadband light or the Brazilian butt. I left. stole his joke. He always yeah, says that. Okay. <laughs> so that's great. I'm sorry, belly so, laughing on that one. Right, <laughs> so, so the BBL is actually it has two IPL heads within the handpiece itself. Is that different? So, than... it, so it's different than the single IPL. Uh, system within the handpiece, and so it's alternating in its pulsing, uh, and so it, it's going to give it a longer life, but it's also going to make it more efficient. And and I think the biggest thing that, and I want to just really reinforce what Sophie said, mm -hmm. is that it's safer. Number one, not that it, you know what we did wasn't safe right, before, right. but it's safer and it's more efficient. So uh, I can just tell you, my family members have had it done. Uh, we just saw a patient today uh, that had it done uh, performed just a week ago. And mm -hmm. Sophie's getting oh, really follow -up, nice results follow -up visit? in a follow-up okay, visit. Right. And this is just one week after. And what were you noticing? Or what, was she, what were the patients that he or she noticing? Well, what we noticed, me and Dr. Tom actually talked about this on the way here, is that she has a more glowy um, nest to her skin. I mean, Dr. Tom, you said that you it looked like she was wearing makeup, but she wasn't, right? That's and correct. After the post-treatment, yes, post-seed, yeah. I was going to talk to you about that because yeah. less is more. And I think mm -hmm. women, if I'm not mistaken, Michelle's shaking her head, yes, we'd rather do less, mm -hmm. you know, but if, and, and if you're doing these kind of things and getting them on your calendar, you can do that. Freedom in a way. Mm -hmm. I think the goal for me is to always wear less makeup. If I can feel yeah. confident in my own skin yeah. and has to, like you said, less is more, then I know the treatment is just right for the patient and right for me too. Um, but as far as the patient's experience, she did notice a lot less redness around her cheeks. Um, she did see a little coffee grinding from the hyperpigmentation. And, and what do you mean by coffee grinding? What does that mean? That can occur after the pigmentation or the dark, darkened colored skin um, due to sun exposure. It's being treated, so usually it it will accentuate and turn a little darker before it gets lighter, and then it flakes off, and then it flakes sort of right off. Ah, Therefore, we okay. call it coffee, coffee grinder. Grinding. Okay, yeah. thank you for thank you for the clarity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she did see a little lightening of those areas already in um, a week. Yes, wow. and she's still going to coffee grind in about for as long as two more weeks. Seriously. Um, and I'm really excited for her and her results. I mean, it's just been one treatment. So um, just imagine, you know, after a full three. Right. Um, now, the question is, along with your regular, as I as I infuse the knowledge that I've learned from Dr. Walter Tom, daily cleaning, you know, morning and night cleaning, um, mm -hmm. you're going to see this gradation of improvement. And is mm -hmm. there anything else that you need to do beyond that post care? So after the treatment, you can feel like you had a warm day in the sun. Okay. Um, you can expect some pinkness, a little um, rosy cheeks. So I do recommend using aloe vera, any cold washcloths, you know, wring them out, put them in a Ziploc baggie, um, and you can apply it on the skin just to help soothe the and skin soothe some it. more yeah. and provide some more comfort. Um, well, Dr. Tom can do it. Yeah, sunscreen. <laughs> don't forget about that. Stay out of the sun. Right. I think that's, really oh, mindful. there we go. Especially that, the, yeah. That's very important. Thank and, you. If I, and if I can just have us backtrack a little bit and talk about this patient specifically, yeah, as please. we were waving to her as we were running out the door oh, to, to get here to uh, <laughs> awesome. to get here to KSRO, and we said we're going to talk about Jeanette by your name, and maybe she's listening, uh, okay. and hope she's smiling, I'm waving <laughs> at her. Um, she knew that we were going to sort of just chat about her, her situation. Sure. So. Um, a really lovely woman and, uh, and and looks great. She has been coming to see me for many years and we've been doing a little Botox for her frown and her crow's feet. So her eyes are nice and wide and big. And, and we had mentioned that when we look at our peers, you know, if I could try to compare myself to Sophie, who's in her 20s, you know, that doesn't fly. You got to compare yourself to your peers or how you felt because all of this is about us feeling better about ourselves. In our own skin. Globally, right? I mean, it's yeah. just really, we want to feel yeah. better, more confident. Yeah. 
and, and and so you know her eyes are wider and we were just mentioning because she's been coming to us for years and been doing these treatments that if she compares herself to her peers that she'll see more furrowing in the forehead more of the yeah. crow's feet and all and their eyes just aren't as big it's not so much about one little line it's really it's about the full facial impression that you get. Mm. So we noticed that about her. We've been doing fillers for her, so that's Restylane, Juvederm, uh, plumping up her cheeks a little bit. She has uh, just genetically a little bit thinner lips, so a little bit in her lips gives her just a nice, you know, keeps her looking more vibrant and healthier. May I ask a, demogra a, demo a demographic age-ish? So we're talking um, about Gen Xers, I'm okay, gonna say, Gen you. Xers. Yeah. Um, and so she is, so she's looking actually great overall. Yeah. But it's interesting that I've been talking to her and I, and I, I mentioned to her, let's just call her Svetlana. Okay, okay. I'm making a Russian. Svetlana. 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 It is. So Svetlana, <laughs> uh, you know, I said to Svetlana, and she's not Russian, but um, Svetlana, I said, you know, I've been, we've been doing all these things and you look great. And really, I've mentioned to you for a while that it's your skin that is showing your age more than any of the other things that you're thinking of. And I'm talking about healthy looking skin. So spider veins, sort of a ruddiness, uh, uneven uh, texture of the skin, the sun damage, the hyperpigmentation. Mm -hmm. I've been explaining to her, and in fact, I even told Svetlana, I said, Svetlana, um, you know, instead of you paying me to do another syringe of filler, I would rather have you take that money and do a photofacial. And now, especially because of our new technology with the BBL, mm -hmm. what's the BBL stand for again? Broadband photofacial. Light. You okay. got it. Uh, I, was, I was trying to set up Sophie to back her joke again, but no. Yeah. But um, is that this will make great strides for her to feel comfortable in her own skin. And really listening to Sophie, her comment uh, was about the fact that maybe she thought the patient had makeup on today for her follow-up and indeed and i kept on asking her do you have makeup on and mm -hmm. she said no i don't and so that was just this and, awesome. and so when i spoke to the patient initially and i said well what do you think and because i was doing another treatment and somebody was in another room and then somebody came back later to talk to her um, she said, well, you know, I think I see some improvement. and But, but she wasn't going like, yeah, I see a lot of improvement. I was like, uh oh, come on, you know, throw <laughs> me a bone me, here. Me, you know, I really want you to really love this. And so we took photos and we forget. And so when I showed her, her the before photos that Sophie had done and the photos that I had and I showed her, it, I said, it's not just a subtle improvement, it's a significant improvement. Mm -hmm. And was that just a week out? I, mean, I, I hate to interrupt, thank you, but was it just a week out from the photos? It's Mississippi? been six days. Really? Oh, actually, today's the seventh day. To My okay. apologies, yes. Okay. Today's the seventh day. Right. So, we, and so the fo photos before and after were seven days apart. Mm -hmm. Right. And wow. when she saw the difference, it was really significant. Yeah. Um, Sophie, you know, we're talking, so this is for photo facials and, and thank all the listeners because they've been listening to us for over 15 plus years and they've heard us. I, Michelle Marquez, who's our producer here, Michelle was one of the very first uh, hosts of this show. And yes, do you remember us talking about photo facials, don't you? Yeah. We talked about photo facials 15 about plus time. years yeah. ago, mm -hmm. and it's still one of the best treatments that you can get, mm -hmm. and you can to treat your skin. And thank you for that, Michelle. And um, but now we have something new that's even better. And so I'd really like to maybe get a little more insight from you, Sophie, you in terms of clinically when you're treating the patient and what you're seeing and in terms of their recovery, what what are you noticing the difference between the, our old fashioned IPL and now the new BBL? Mm -hmm. I do find that my patients are more comfortable during the treatment. Um, it's not as band slappy ouchy. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's a technical term. It's not as snappy. Uh, um, really? Hot and snappy. Mm -hmm. um, the patient knows what to expect usually if they've done an IPL, but I find that they're not as um, startled by the light or the pulses that I'm, do I'm pulsing on their skin. Mm -hmm. um, I'm able to see, as a practitioner, I'm able to see a reaction a bit quicker than the IPL, so I'm able to gauge my settings more appropriately and see um, if the treatment's working and in addition to the patient's comfort or discomfort level. Immediately? Uh, more immediate than the first IPL. Well, yes. it sounds like it is kind of a dial, you know, a yeah. fingerprint for each 
particular patient, not that it wasn't prior to this, but it seems like you can hone in on it a little bit. Right. Is that fair? And I think, Robin, what we're, we're finding, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of <laughs> laud our, our <laughs> nurse practitioner, Sophie, a little bit, is that you wanna go somewhere if you're gonna have this done, where they have experience, of course, but where you know the personality of the office is not so much just, oh, glam, look, we got this and this, you know, we can zap this and this, but they're actually really studying your particular case, seeing what you have, and they're evaluating you, not just before and afterwards, but what Sophie's referring to is her own during the procedure evaluation. So she is pulsing the skin, she's stopping, she's evaluating the skin, what is changing? Do I go up on the energy? Do right. I go down on the energy? This is a particular target, for instance, at Svetlana. We were looking at some of her veins, right? Yes, absolutely. And, and, Little and, spider and, veins and around the nose. you had to make some changes. And mm -hmm. What did you do for those particular veins? Good do you question. recall? Well, what do you mean? We, we went up and we were oh, multiple um, pulsing and going up, on the, we, going up or down on the, on the mm -hmm. dosing. So we did do a basic two pass passes on the skin usually and just according to the patient's reaction I'm able to titrate the energy level and the pulse length on the skin oh, both. and there's just more settings to choose from uh, which makes me feel more confident as a practitioner when treating my patient I have yeah. more to work with with the machine I feel more aligned with it and as a it's like my teammate, you know, when it comes oh, to- that's, <laughs> that's a great way to put like it. That. When it that comes to great. treating the patient. Right, right, um, right. And then also what's nice about the machine is that the, the headpiece is a lot um, wider, wider. So I don't have to pulse the skin as much, meaning I have, I can cover more surface area in a shorter amount of time. And the patient doesn't have to be in treatment as long yeah, as the first better. IPL. I mean, because you know we're the ADD society. We were <laughs> yesterday. Are you done yet? <laughs> what you know? This probably takes what two thirds of the time. I would say Seriously? yeah. It cuts it down by about oh a third, yeah. so it's, it's yeah. actually really great for that reason. And in, so, you know, we always protect our patient's identity. Uh, I've talked about Svetlana, and I, what Svetlana had mentioned to me was that at the end of the procedure, when she left the office, mm -hmm. she said her skin felt better. And we were trying to look for words, yeah. and maybe like you had a light sunburn, you know, you've been out in the sun, yeah. Uh, yeah. or windswept. And right. you know how, although some of that's an irritation, feeling no, but it some of it feels, feels like your skin is tighter fresh. right and it feels you fresh. and your and you and that, that's kind of a good feeling that they have yeah yeah like you went to the beach or something you know you had a beautiful yeah, a nice day know, in the sun yeah that's what I like to right say. yeah uh, with with sun dr tom's sunscreen <laughs> <laughs> and so as another testament to this um there is uh, we have another patient who has uh basically uh I would say that she has trained all of our nurses on photofacials, and that's my wife. Okay, and so when we have new we have new staff members, and by the way, Sophie is an experienced cosmetic laser nurse now. Okay? She came from Stanford. Right. She's a nurse I, practitioner. But, but, you but, but we're you. we're talking yeah, exactly nurse practitioner from Stanford, right? Yeah. Uh, but we're in, we uh, talk about you know new technology, new staff coming in, and so my poor wife is like anybody for this. And, oh, poor Donna. Uh, and, uh, even though I'm exactly Donna, and even though I'm Chinese and Greek, she's English, Irish, and German, oh, so she has that Northern European type skin uh, skin type. And she had her treatment yesterday. How and so when I came home from uh, work and I asked her, you know, how her day was, and, and I had forgotten that she had come in for a treatment with Sophie. I was in surgery. Yeah. Um, she said she had the treatment with Sophie. And so, of course, my next question is, well, how did it go? And she said, Sophie did great, and I really like this. This was her second treatment with the BBL oh, system. Mm -hmm. okay. And so this is, a, this is a woman who's had, and she's my age, right. and, and she has had um, treatments for over 23 years, okay, with photofacials, because she was the original guinea, guinea bunny. bunny. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. uh, and so her comment was all very positive in terms of comfort and Sophie's expertise, but more important, as importantly, okay, the results, man. So she's really finding that. And she would be, she would critique you, honestly. She absolutely mm -hmm. would, because I, you know, constantly go into her when, especially when we're training new staff yes. and getting feedback, because she has trained people by being the guinea bunny for 23 years. As long as Michelle Marquez and I were talking about photofacials mm -hmm. some 23 years ago. Right. And how many weeks ago was the previous treatment for uh, Miss Donna? 
We treated her at the end of April, okay. uh, last weekend, so okay. April 30th. Uh, so it's been a month yeah. and a week, I want to say. Yeah. And I know that the, the, the speculating, what, how many treatments? Three? I'm sure it's patient specific. Maybe somebody only needs one. Maybe they wait, you know, six months in so between. I don't know. I recommend three. I th three. Uh -huh. Just based off of my clinical experience, even with the IPL, mm -hmm. the patients, and I tend to see the most difference after three. Okay. Um, what's nice about the BBL, I meant to mention this earlier, Please. is that you we can get really good results with less treatments with the BBL as opposed uh -huh. to the IPL. Well, that's so good. That's you're like a twofer. Bang, bang for, for your, your buck. buck. Yeah. And, and, it, and it really does make a difference uh, for the patients. And one of the, uh, we say one treatment every three weeks and three treatments. Uh, originally it was five treatments. Uh, oh. And we actually brought it down from five to three. Uh, I'm going to say with the BBL, I would still recommend three. I'm going to be a little more conservative, okay, okay. Uh, but it may be that you'll need less. And where I think you're going to see the less, okay, so, okay, where can I maybe, I'm going to find some cosmetic dollar savings for myself as a patient. What I'm going to say is that we, is that you do the three, like our protocol is, because remember before we used to see five, okay, mm -hmm. do the three, but then maybe you don't need to come back as often, often. Or maybe we you extend it so let's that. say you're coming back and you're doing one treatment every six months I see. so maybe it might be one treatment every seven or eight months right. you know you we will gauge that for you and that's just something that we do when we evaluate the patient every time they walk mm -hmm. in the office patient specific and you're keeping right. those notes and honestly taking care of us very well as it sounds like now can you after you're getting it you're in there you're in there for what 45 30 4, 45 minutes right it's mm -hmm. not going to hurt and i'm going to get double the passes seemingly with this bbl treatment yes yes, yes. and um i'm going to be okay i shouldn't go out in the sun put aloe vera on mm -hmm. you will like i said you'll look a little pink some rosy cheeks it's going to feel like you had a warm day in the sun so just be really mindful um avoid the sun. Avoid I want you to protect <clears throat> your investment. And there you go. That's a really good way sunscreen. to put it. Mm -hmm. um, another thing I like to mention too is that with this new technology, there is more collagen and elastin stimulation too. Oh. So we're what? Thank you, Seriously? and that is fantastic thank you for bringing that up i'm kind of leaning on it if you if you watch the video you see i'm leaning on it no no random, no no, no. Like, that is know. that is perfect <laughs> well, because there something. is a uh, there's a treatment with this as well we have found that with the bbl that it does lead to your own collagen restructuring so what does that mean in late yeah, periods of term? It means your collagen is improved, your skin's gonna feel tighter, you know, how your skin's gonna feel tighter, and it causes a rejuvenation. It really is photofacial rejuvenation. Your mm -hmm. skin's just not gonna look younger, but biologically, it's going to be younger. So oh, once we're done with these treatments, let's say you go a protocol of three, we can then put you on lower energy levels and it's it's and it's a, a treatment that we can then do and it's even a shorter period of time mm -hmm. but you can come in and you can have your skin treated and 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 help to keep its youthfulness in terms of the collagen uh so there a dr bitter jr calls it his forever young we're not going to oh, use his right? terminology I but like that that's what he uses is for forever young treatment and it's very quick and you can come in uh and it will and and it's a great treatment and actually uh, it's interesting that the two older staff members and that be mary and myself and, the, and mary our lead nurse we've already said we're treating each oh, other yeah. we're, <laughs> we're getting we're getting we're going to do the low dose exactly what sophie talked about that forever young treatment we're going to be doing that every six weeks we're going to love it oh, well yeah. we I'm, I'm excited that you're bringing the new technology to the dr tom cosmetic surgery center we've got, got uh, 30 seconds can you wrap up and tell us about the bbl so we get a reader's digest absolutely so okay. come on in uh and our, our consultations are already Complementary. It's based on photofacial energy levels, which helps to knock out spider veins, age spots, helps to improve the collagen in your skin. Uh, it's called BBL or broadband light.
Rock that line, I love it. <laughs> and it's the newest and the latest and greatest from Dr. Tom Cosmetic Surgery. Sophie, thank you so much thank for being you. our guest today. We appreciate it. Dr. Tom, will you be back next week, you promise? I promise I can bring Sophie with me. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. I like that too, Michelle Marcos. <laughs> thank you so much for the help today and all of you for listening and joining us each and every week. We couldn't do it without you. Stay tuned for Top of the Hour Identification and KSR News is next. Great job.